Hey guys, John, Backwoods Off-Road and Overlanding. Man, welcome back to the channel. Man, we got a lot of good stuff to do this week. Man, I got a lot of videos to make. I'm gonna try and space them out. Uh, but today, I'm gonna give you some more details on biker bits here. Go ahead and get you started here. We're getting close to the fourth where we can go ahead and get our orders in. And today, today's video, we're gonna be doing some testing on our 300L. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of, a lot of talk out there about the, uh, you know, modifying these bikes. Uh, can the ECU, the stock ECU make adjustments and whatnot? So I've got a temperature gauge. Uh, we're going to run a test on our DNA filter with no mo other mods with our stock ECM. And then we're going to do the same test with our OEM air filter with no other mods. See if it makes a difference. See if it runs any leaner and We'll go ahead and put those, you know, those thoughts to rest and let you know what's going on. And then, of course, here in a few weeks, we'll get our, in a few weeks, we'll get our new exhaust in and we'll do the same test. So, uh, I got my bike outside so I don't get carbon monoxide poisoning. And we're going to let this girl get warmed up. So, roll in. <coughs> All right, guys, like I said, here, we've got our DNA filter already installed. I'm going to go ahead and run the test here. Bike is cold. So we've got our DNA filter, got the stock ECM, uh, power wise, I've got no other mods. I haven't blocked off my secondary air intake yet, which I might do once we get our exhaust. And then we've got our stock OEM filter. We're gonna run the test both ways. So I've got a nice little thermometer here and I don't have a fancy gauge to measure the actual air exhaust. We're gonna, we're gonna measure the, uh, the actual, the head intake. Or the I'm sorry, the exhaust header here, head pipe. So right now we're sitting at eight forty four degrees Fahrenheit. Six point one degrees Celsius. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh we'll go to the girl get old girl turned on. We're gonna warm up. take long we're gonna let it warm up and then uh we'll be back and see what we got hey guys we're back man this didn't take long but man i was actually wasn't expecting this to get that hot so this thermometer here goes up to 626 degrees check this out so when it says high I need to register it over 10. okay guys so that was our dna filter man she actually run a lot harder than i thought she was here all right we're gonna let her we're gonna let her cool down and we're gonna throw our stock oem filter back in there and let's see if it makes a difference um if we still get the same readings and i get the high readings i might need I'm, i might just run out they had two different models here uh, they had one that was a little bit priced here um i'll go check the the temp range on that and I'll get that back to you too. So, oh, um, actually, let me run this in Celsius real quick. Let me flip this around. 
Crank her back up so you guys can see her on Celsius for you guys that aren't on Fahrenheit. So Fahrenheit, Celsius. Right, guys while we're waiting for old, old 300l out there to cool off we're gonna get that filter uh changed out we're gonna check our stock oem like i said and man if our temperatures uh get high again like that with our stock filter that's gonna just gonna tell us right off the bat right there it's running much leaner than stock so and the ecu is just not not compensating like it should uh we'll know here in a bit but while we're waiting for old girl to talk to to, to cool down we gotta let her cool down a bit uh, let's talk about the biker's bits. I know a lot of you folks are, are uh, very interested in that and getting ready. Ooh, I just got a notification. Man, my AXP skid plate's going to be in the day. Hell yeah. So video coming on that here uh, pretty soon, uh, maybe this weekend. But anyways, uh, I get distracted too easy, guys. I apologize. Biker's bits. Okay, so uh, like we said before, we talked about, man, that this, this place, a small company, and I don't think they've given discounts to anybody before. I think this is their first go at it. So they're a small company, they don't have a spot on their order form to put discount codes. So they're setting up a manual process for us. So it might take you guys a day or two or three to get it worked out and get your discount. Um, I haven't got mine yet. I, I, got my, I got my account set up. I got my shopping cart ready to go, but uh, their website clearly states, hey guys, we're, we're, we're close for the holidays. If you, if you order now, it's going to be delayed. So I'm going to put mine in like on the 5th um, and get my order put in. So so I haven't gone through the entire process yet to make sure it's 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 there. Um, but like I said, got you guys approved for 10%. So they say, um, we'll see if it works. Um, process, here's a few steps. Very simple, very simple. Um, first off, you want to go ahead and go to their website, bikersbits.com and set you up an account with your email address and everything and put your address you know all that set up your account stuff it's you know that's pretty cut and dry so so go ahead and do that first and get that out of the way second step you want to email the guys at support at bikerbits bikersbits.com and i'll leave this down in the description so you guys can walk through it email them and say, hey, um, I'm a viewer of Backwoods Off-Road and Overland Landing, and I'm here for my 10% discount. Hook me up, brothers. And just word it however you want to, guys. You know, I mean, I type like I talk and whatnot, so you just, you get the point across. So email them, and and how, how, it, how, it's, how it was explained to me is that once you get your account set up, you talk to them, Tell them who you are. Tell them who sent you. John at Backwoods Off-Road and Overlanding sent you. And uh, they'll actually apply the discount to your account on their website. So, um, like I said, I haven't gone through all the steps yet because I'm waiting until after the 4th to put my order in. So, be patient with these these guys over there. Like I said, they're overseas. Um, your, their email response is going to come back 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. So... Um, you could go ahead and get started guys and get some orders in and, and man, 10% is pretty good on some pretty cheap parts. Let's see. I put, uh, uh, so far I've got my order up to, I mean, their shipping's actually not too bad considering, considering where it's coming from uh, DHL three day. Um, I've got a handful of stuff. Let's see. I'm ordering the, the Moto X V2 exhaust, uh, the, the Moto X, uh, heat shield. I got the rear rack. 
Uh, I'm gonna get the uh, the engine side covers, and there was a couple other things. I mean, quite a few things, guys. So, so your shipping is gonna you know come down to your weight and the size of what you're getting. And all in all, I think my taxes was like thirty something bucks, and I think shipping was like hundred thirty bucks. So you know, ten percent off of of my order is gonna cover you know nearly cover half my shipping. So. Come on, you can't beat that. But you know, ten percent on anything is is pretty awesome. So, so go ahead and get that started, guys. Uh, reach out to support at bikersbits.com. Uh, get your account set up. Tell them Backwoods sent you, and let's get that ten percent rolling, guys. And hopefully, they can get it worked out for us. And uh, we're gonna go check on over three hundred L. See if she's cooled down yet. So, all right. Oh man, I had to put another jacket on, guys. Man, we had a. Man, it was like 85 degrees yesterday, and we had a cold front just pull in down here in Georgia, and it's pushing some of that Canada wind down here, man. It's the coldest freaking like 45 degrees I've ever felt. I feel like uh, I feel like I look like Rudolph, man. My nose, that's why my nose is all red, guys. It ain't nose candy. It's fucking cold. Uh, but anyways, guys, we got our, all right, we got our OEM filter back in. We got our DNA filter in, and man, I'm actually gonna have to go. I'm about to put some of that jelly on here. Looks like we've got a little, little bit of, little bit of clay dust there creeping in on us. But man, she, she looks, she looks pretty good. No, we're good. But yeah, she looks pretty good. So we're gonna get her fired up here. Let's see what our temps are down to. All right, we're down to 56 degrees. Get her warmed up. Yeah, she's warming up good. Alright guys, um, I'm actually going to look back through that video, but I think we had some cooler temps there with the DN air filter. If you noticed, you know, which I, I might just go grab that other filter or that other, not other filter, but uh, that other thermometer. But you guys tell me what you, what, what you think and um, I'll, I'll wait and see what you think. And then if you think I should go grab the, the higher temp one, I will. But it looks to me... Like we had a wider band here on the head pipe, a wider band here on the head pipe where we actually read under, what was this, 626 degrees. So anything over 626 read high, right? So 
I'm gonna look back through the video, but I'm pretty positive we had a wider band here with the DNA filter that we read under 626. What do you think? Um, I'm gonna throw this together in a pretty simple test. Um, but from what I see, not much of a difference, guys. I think our ECU is compensating pretty good. If anything, man, it might be running, it might be running better. I don't know. You guys be the judge. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. This was it. I'm gonna get inside where the heater's at. It's too fun cold out here. Keep riding.